today I turned the big 28. Um, and I can honestly say this is the first year that I've ever had like a smidge of sadness because I'm getting older, which is a weird feeling, but it's fine. You're only as old as you feel, right? Right. Today has been a great day so far. Not much on the schedule. Um, I'm gonna eat my weight in Chick-fil-A. Jamie and I are gonna go there later um, for dinner, which I'm very excited about. We are going to dinner to my favorite place tomorrow. Um, it's called Yulon. So good. The chef has a Michelin star and it's hands down the best place I've had so far here in Nashville. It is like Italian five star dining, um, but they have a ton of gluten free options, which like I so appreciate. So I'm really excited to take Jamie there um, tomorrow because last time I went with Shelby and like some girlfriends. And then I think we're gonna meet up with some friends after to go out, um, I think. I don't know, Jamie has like a little surprise. And then Saturday I'm doing like a PJ party with the girls, it's gonna be really fun. So I'm bringing you guys along for my birthday weekend. Um, it's very exciting. This morning, I actually started my birthday with going to an appointment that I've been waiting for for like a month. So my lash artist, Molly from Smoke and Mirrors, she introduced me to Hannah Ellis, who just opened Hannah Ellis Skincare, which is in East Nashville. And up until I was like, I don't know, 26, I like did not have any skin problems like whatsoever. I mean, you guys can't really tell because the camera has bomb and um, I have makeup on, but I have acne like all around my chin. And I used to only get like one or two like deep pimples and now it's like everywhere, so. I'm just confused on, I don't know shit about skin. So I'm confused on what to do, what products to use, and you know, the whole the whole thing. And I'm sick of going to like estheticians that like aren't here for like the long haul with me. You know what I mean? Like, like I want somebody who is there to like help me on my skin journey. I can like text or email if I need help along the way. Like, and I am so, so happy I found Hannah because I, had an hour and a half consultation with her this morning and I literally cried. She's the first person that has ever, like she brought out a little whiteboard and she drew exactly like a diagram of how we get pimples and why we get pimples and three different ways that we can treat acne. And she's so smart and I'm just so happy to finally found someone who's like in this with me to hopefully get my skin clear for at least the wedding in like a year. But she was like, yeah, we're doing the whole thing. So I'm so excited. So I started off my birthday with that. And then I went to Target and I got a Kindle, which I'm really excited about. Shelby, my girlfriend um, here in Nashville, inspired me to buy this because she like just started reading and got a Kindle and she loves it, she raves about it. And I read my first book, probably in five years, whenever I went to Savannah, like two weekends ago for my girlfriend's baby shower. And it was Lauren Elena's new book and I read it in two days, start to finish. It was so good. And I appreciated that it was like an easier read, like that's the level I'm on. But I'm just like not naturally a reader, but I love the idea of it because it gets me away from social media and my phone and work. So I'm excited to just like relax on the couch. And I think the Kindle is gonna be nice because it feels like you're on like your phone or an iPad and it feels natural, but you're not on that. And it doesn't have blue light. Well, I think it does have blue light, but you can turn it off. So I'm really excited. So I got this. This is my little birthday gift to myself. And then I also came home to a delivery from Maddie. She's so cute. Crumble cookies. Let's see what she sent me. Cookies are my favorite. Oh, what do we get? Blue? Oh, we got a variety. Okay. I don't know what those are. That looks so good. I need a piece of the chocolate. Oh, it's not for you, Baba. While I was at Target, I also got, you know, brown sugar shake and espresso. Makes me so happy. So I got that and then I just got another delivery for my sister. I think it's chocolate covered strawberries. Another thing I'm going to be doing today, I decided that I'm gonna do vision boards after my birthdays instead of after New Year's. And I did a lot of research on vision boarding and like the proper way to do it because I have a podcast, not sure if you guys know, it's called Call Your Girls. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, really anywhere you find your podcasts. I'll put it, um, I'll put a link below of the episode. I think the episode will be going live while this video is going live, but it is all about like 
manifesting and vision boarding and things like that. Um, just like a good start to 2022. So I did a lot of research on the topic of vision boarding for the podcast. So now I know like some good tips and tricks on vision boarding. And I thought it was interesting. The main one I took away was that it should be like a ceremony. Like it should, you should be relaxed. You should be by yourself or with somebody like com you're comfortable with. And there's like a whole process to it. If you're interested, definitely listen to the podcast, but I bought a canvas, I bought a shit ton of magazines, I bought Maj Podge, the stuff that like is clear, that makes it like stick, whatever. I used to use that in college whenever I would make like sorority paddles. And I'm gonna make a vision board today. I'm just gonna relax and really think about what I want in my 28th year and what I wanna accomplish and really like spend time while I'm creating the board to like envision those goals. That's like one of the main takeaways I got from my research. So I'm excited. I did a birthday photo shoot I'm about to post. It's really cute. I'll pop um, some photos in around here. We had a lot of fun. The vibe I was going for was like sweet 16, 1990s, but 28th birthday vibes. So I'm excited to post it, but I will check in with you guys later. I'm gonna go relax and eat more cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh, more cookies. Haley got me these, I was so surprised. And then my mom sent me these. Everyone's sending me sweets. I was like, what are these? I thought they were gonna be Rice Krispie treats. They're big pineapples. Wild. If you didn't know, pineapple is a powerful flavor. Always around, huh? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Hello, we're sitting in. What is this? What is this? <laughs> uh, this is a Chevy Corvette Z, Z51. And Jamie was like, <laughs> I was like, where did you park? Cause I didn't see his car anywhere. He said, all the way over there. And I said, why? <laughs> he said, all the spots were filled over by our door. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's nobody parked over there. And then he's like, we get to ride this for how long? To How do you old, open the door? Tomorrow. <laughs> How do you open the door? There's a little triangle button right there. It's locked. <sighs> Try and get out. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's a workout getting out of that. <laughs> He's like, we have this car for tonight and tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Thanks, babe. We get to go fast. <laughs> we can't go that fast. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Trying to get... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, she cute. We're at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> she matches. Very cute. I'm so excited. Good morning, it is Friday. I just cleaned up my office. Hello, little guy. Hello. Um, I switched out my white curtains for cream curtains. You probably can't tell at all, but I did. It took me five years. And I look like a homeless person because I'm baking in my spray tan for tonight because we're going out to dinner. And I think we're going to hang out friends. Um, wanted to show you guys um, the vision board, inspo board. Okay, so a little bit of what I put on this. So down here we have kind of like everything that represents love, planning a wedding, building me and Jamie's relationship, getting closer, can't wait to marry you, all the things. Um, I have blue on there. And then I also wanna start going camping a little bit more. I feel like last year we just moved to Nashville, so we were just like spending time in the city and like exploring. I really wanna explore like the woods around Nashville. And then over here is kind of like self development. I want a lot less screen time, more books. I bought a Kindle, so I'm really excited about that. And then just, you know, be a little more calm, take things a little slower. I feel like I'm always going 20, 100, 000 miles a minute. 
And then up here we have a little bit of like health and wellness. Didn't feel like myself for like a really long time. I feel like it's been like a year and a half. I, I did gain some weight around like, I think like 30 pounds. Um, and I don't necessarily wanna lose a bunch of weight. I just really wanna feel better and a little more comfortable in my skin. So getting back into the gym, doing things for me, drinking water is like super important. I've started to take my vitamins every day. So things like that, that's the goal. And then over here is work related. So putting out original content on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, creating the life of my dreams, new podcast episodes, CEO, oh, oh, oh. hopefully that's what my bank account looks like at the end of 22. Um, some affirmations of like money, things like that. So apparently if you share your vision board, it's more likely to happen. So sharing it with you right now. <laughs> Cheers, boo. Thank you. Okay, so we, we're doing the five courses. So everything in bold. But they bring out like compliments to, to, from the chef, compliments to the chef. How does it go? She described it very fancily, but what I got out of it is <laughs> crab cake. <laughs> it looks good. And then some kind of finish right this is gluten free. Try it. Is it good? How do you eat it? What is it? I think it's a fried turnip. Wait, it kind of tastes like a potato. Maybe it is. Is my mouth like all red? <laughs> no? What was this again? Apple radish salad. They kind of like, home. they take the um, like dishes and they make it gluten free if it's not. So they give us something different. So like the bread is different, pasta is different. Wow, look at that. What is yours made out of? Oh sure. They brought me gluten free gnocchi with um, black truffle, mushrooms, fresh ones. Jamie's first experience. How do they taste? Amazing. They're very fresh and like you can almost like smell them, how fresh they are. They're like... You know what black truffles taste like? What? The best fungus money can buy. <laughs> okay. This is the Okay, this is what, the sixth course? Fifth. The fifth and maybe the last. We might say skip dessert because we have cake later, but look at it. She's beautiful and juicy and I'm sorry if you're a vegan. <laughs> That is art. Like that's abstract. It looks like a blender. Sponge. I think there's only hazelnut in there. She said it was based off the whole thing. I got it. This. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! Tonight was so much fun. Dinner was amazing. You guys saw all the things we had, and then I didn't vlog a second. I didn't even take a picture at my party. It was so much fun, just like hanging out with everyone. So I'm gonna share some photos that my friends got. pants on and stuff my face with some chocolate cake and pass out. Mm -hmm.